Hi, it's Kathy. I'm gonna try and make this one quick. Uh, it's been a little while. Sometimes I don't know what to record and sometimes I think, why would anyone wanna listen to me? Um, so last night, after driving home from Orange County, it's a two hour drive, I was listening to some Tony Robbins videos. And one of the videos was called The Three Pillars. Uh, and in Tony's video, the three pillars are one, what do you want out of life and why do you want it? So do you want a better career? Do you want an education? Do you want a better relationship? And uh, I know what I want. I want a self-sustaining business in which I help other women in recovery initially. And um, why do I want that? I want that because I remember what it felt like when I was 13, 14, 15 and that I felt very alone, that I didn't fit in anywhere, that I didn't belong to anything, that I didn't have anyone who heard me or saw me. And it led down a life of, of many years, over 20 years of seeking love in inappropriate ways, doing drugs, marijuana, meth, cocaine, and drinking far too much. And eventually at 38, I found a program of recovery and I started doing that. So that's the why. My why was my 14 year old self, honest to God. She had a crap deal in life. And then the second pillar, oh God, what was the second pillar? Oh, the tools, you need the tools. So, so what are the tools to get what I want, right? To, to help other 14 year olds or older people who are dealing with their inner child issues do I have the proven methodology, 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 or modeling in order to share with women how I broke through a lot of those beliefs, old beliefs, not helpful beliefs about myself. And then he said, the third pillar is what's getting in the way. Do I tend to try a lot of new things in order to be successful in life, what I deem successful. And when I was younger, I deemed material things, houses, cars, money as successful. And then as I got older, it was friendships. Um, and I'm back to the business thing. I don't work for other people. I'd like an income that I've created. And I've tried several things, I'm gonna tell you. I've spent a lot of money trying to learn those proven practices, the second pillar. I've tried to do option trading on the stock market which I enjoyed, but it was too much work. That was, that was my block. And I tried doing real estate uh, flipping, buying homes, fixing them up and selling them. I did two of those. And while I enjoyed the outcome of the finished home, I didn't enjoy one selling them or the hard work you put into it for, in our case, because we were new at it, not a lot of money. If I'd stuck with it, and this is, this is that third thing, what is the thing that holds me back? Well, it's the sticking to it. Some, somewhere down the line in life, around 10 to 14, I, I learned a lesson that effort doesn't matter, that nobody cares, and it's not worth it. I'm not worth it. And when I say that, you know, worthy was something that came up a couple of weeks ago. I don't feel worthy of the life that I have sometimes, not always, but when I have low moments, that's, that's the thing that gets me stuck. And so when I come back full circle to here, I'm 59 years old and I'm trying to, from the ground up, build something that will benefit other women um, in life who maybe are stuck at that place where they don't believe they're worthy. What is it in my life? What is my mind telling me that I didn't even know was there that keeps me stuck, that makes me give up, that, that somehow undermines or short circuits my ability to, to be more, to do more, to, to, to carry that message that I wanna carry to those suffering 14 year olds, whether they're still 14 or they're 59 or any age in between. We got a lot of things taught to us that weren't helpful. They were, they were detrimental. They helped us create the thoughts of who we are. And as much as I've tried to work on those thoughts, 
doesn't always it doesn't always happen when I'm tired or when um, I've had a rough season. Those thoughts, which are subconscious, and I don't even hear them until until things get really dire. Those those drive me. Those lead me. So now I'm at this new avenue, this new crossroads, I guess, not an avenue, but a crossroads where it's like, do I want to do this thing or don't I? And I do want to do this thing. So why is it that when the going gets tough, uh, I quit? So that's what I'm working on. I'd love to say I have an answer to that right now. I did get to hear a really good, uh, tr- ah, excuse me, a really good training this morning about ego centered and task centered or oriented ego oriented versus task oriented and in a nutshell the ego orientation is when i have a lot of money then i'll have value or when i lose the weight then i'll be pretty and the task orientated way of thinking is i want to feel healthier so i'm going to do these things regardless of the outcome and I do these things and I feel healthier or I need to make enough money in order to pay my expenses period if I have above and beyond great but both of those things require that I do something I love and it's hard in this world to to do a job work for somebody doing something we love and some people get to do it and other people get a job because it's necessary. I've got to pay the bills. I didn't get the education I wanted. I didn't get to pursue those dreams that I had because life got in the way. And I have probably been living in the ego driven where I want to make a certain amount of money and therefore I have to do a certain thing so that I feel value, so that I feel like I'm enough, so that I believe other people will love me. And what I'm learning about myself today is I have to love me doesn't matter if other people love me. I mean, it's nice. And we live in a world where we require connection. But if I don't love me, uh, no amount of connection in the world is going to make me feel better about myself. Not, not sustainably. So today I'm working on what are those beliefs that get in my way. And I think I'm narrowing it down. And I will uh, come back when I have completely figured that part out. Maybe not completely, but if I've made more progress. And I'll let you know. I'm tired of letting those beliefs hold me back. I'm tired of that stupid little voice in my head being in charge. I have more power than this. I've proven it to myself on numerous occasions when the going got really tough. I'd like to be able to do it when everything is going nicely, when everything's smooth. And maybe that's not the way it works. I don't know yet, but I'll let you know. So that's what I've got. My husband said, you should do a video on what you just shared with me. Uh, I don't know if I nailed it all. And I didn't want to do a video because he told me to. Well, he suggested. He did not tell me to. He suggested it. My brain immediately said no. So there's probably a little bit of my old belief system in that too. Dang. See, we're already learning things. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for letting me share. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Kathy, bye.